Hi, I'm Salil Sani from Facebook Connectivity. Um, I'm at the Facebook booth talking about the TIP end-to-end -end demonstration at Mobile World Congress 2019. So the first section of my demonstration is focused on the radio access solution. That's the virtualized RAN front hall project group outcome. And this is focused on enabling radio access over non-ideal front hall. This includes microwave, cable, and other technologies being used as the front hall to enable radio access solutions to work in developing markets and other scenarios where ideal front hall such as fiber isn't necessarily available. So in this case, we have a remote radio head coming from one of our TIP ecosystem partners talking to a virtualized baseband that's built by a bunch of other partners of ours uh, that's enabling a complete virtualized RAN solution running over non-ideal front hall. A second portion of our network focuses on open RAN, and here's an example of how radio access leveraging hardware and software disaggregation is coming together. So we have a remote radio head built by one of our partners that covers the radio RF functions, and then we've got a baseband that's running virtualized and running on, in, the, in the cloud, and that's the idea behind this is to enable disaggregated hardware and software being used as a way to deliver radio access solutions. In addition, in this demonstration, I also have components of the backhaul that are being brought together by TIP ecosystem partners. So we have examples of that in here, where we have a disaggregated cell site gateway that's actually at every single cell site, and that includes hardware coming from one of our partners with software coming from three different partners, giving operators the flexibility to build a cell site gateway with as much need as per their, their use case. In addition, we have Cassini, which is here, and that actually enables the long-haul functionality to come to life. And the idea here is for an optical transponder to be built, leveraging the same concept of, of hardware and software disaggregation, where the hardware is built by one company and we have multiple software capabilities, enabling the idea of a software-defined network to come to life, even for long-haul optical transport. And then moving into the core, we have a solution where we have one of our TIP ecosystem acceleration center partners that's providing the evolved packet core for this end-to-end -end 4G network that allows for the actual content to be delivered through to our end-user devices here on a, on a phone and here on a, on a laptop. So we have end-to-end -end connectivity being enabled through this network. In addition to that, we actually have an edge compute node and that's actually running on a platform here and the idea behind the edge compute node is to deliver low latency applications, for example, AR and VR applications that can be run much closer to the user to enable this network to deliver on that better user experience that we would like to bring forward to partners. And here we have a third radio access solution, Open Cellular. That's actually an effort where Facebook and a couple of ecosystem partners came forward uh, to build a software-defined radio that is open cellular and was contributed to the TIP community. In addition, uh, as I talked about earlier, we actually have an edge compute application that's running here on this mobile phone, which showcases how low latency applications can be run in the cloud with the enabling of uh, edge compute node that's part of this end-to-end -end network.